hello guys welcome to circuit cracker in this video we will solve the circuit shown in this figure with the help of nodal analysis i hope you have watched my previous video and you are very much familiar with nodal analysis if not watch my previous video i have mentioned the link for the previous video in the description okay i have listed the steps to be followed uh, for analyzing the circuit here it is I have explained about detail about these steps in the previous video so I suggest you to watch my previous video so now let's solve the problem okay first system note your notes in the given circuit I'll note down uh, my notes in the circuit node number one node two node three and node four okay step number two decide your reference node I'll uh, decide my reference node at node 4 uh, you can do uh, it in any other nodes too since we will not face any problem uh, here because uh, we have all unknown voltages so it does not matter uh, where you consider your reference node um, however I will uh, consider my reference node at node 4 okay Let's apply KCL at node 1. Applying KCL at node 1. Okay. I'll consider the flow of uh, current here. Uh, let my let I1 be the current flowing from node 1 to node 2. I2 be another current. I3 be uh, another current. Okay. Similarly, I4 okay I5 and I6 okay okay let's apply KCL at node 1 here okay at node 1 uh, this current 10 ampere let me call it as I and this current 2 ampere let me call it I dash here I is equal to I1 plus i2 plus i3 okay i is equal to the value 1 let not 1 10 i1 uh, will equal let me call it as b1 uh, b2 b3 okay and i1 is equal to b1 minus b2 upon 3 i2 is equal to b1 upon 2 plus i3 is equal to b1 minus b3 upon 5 on solving the mathematics i'll get the equation of 31 b1 minus 10 b2 minus 6 b3 is equal to 300 this will be our equation 1 remember you will get as many equations as your unknown node voltages okay we have now let's apply kcl at node 2 applying kcl at node 2 here i1 is equal to i4 plus i5 okay i1 is equal to b1 minus b2 upon 3 is equal to b2 upon 5 plus b2 minus b3 upon 1 on doing the mathematics we will get the equation of 5b1 minus 23 b2 plus 15 b3 is equal to 0 let me call it call, let me call the equation as equation 2 now applying similarly applying KCL at node 3 I'll do it here okay here Applying KCL at node 3. Okay, here uh, I5 is equal I5 plus I3 is equal to I dash plus I6. Okay, I5 is equal to B2 minus B3 upon 1 plus I3 is equal to B1 minus B3 upon 5 is equal to 
i1 i dash is equal to 2 plus i6 is equal to b3 by 4 on doing mathematics you will get the equation of 4 b1 plus 20 b2 minus 29 b3 is equal to 40 it's your equation 3 and use your calculator to solve this equation solving i i i solve your equation you can use your calculator and you will get the value of b1 is equal to 12.058 volt b2 is equal to 5.1009 volt b3 is equal to 3.801 volt we, so we have completed up to step number 4 we noted our nodes we decided reference node we applied KCL at node with unknown voltage voltage and as I have mentioned here uh, I got three equation since I have three unknown node voltages and I solve the equation and get the value of b1 b2 and b3 now you can find uh, other parameters uh, as asked in your question if you are asked to find i1 you can easily get by using b1 minus b2 upon 3 i2 you can easily get it by b1 upon 2 similarly i3 b1 minus b3 upon 5 i4 b2 upon uh, okay b2 upon 5 i5 okay b2 minus b3 upon 1 uh, i6 b3 upon i6 b3 upon 4 in this way you can solve any given uh, circuit by using nodal analysis okay this was for today's video in the next video we will talk about super node analysis subscribe the channel and make sure you won't miss the next video thank you